So what would you say has been some of the hard? Um, I would say, you know, the daily hard at first um, can be a challenge. We always say that there's there's about a three to four week period in the beginning where you're getting to know the child. They usually get sick during that time because there's new germs and new environment. And maybe you've introduced them to daycare and they've never been there before. Um, there's sleeping patterns that they have to develop. Many of them have come never really having a bedtime, which has been interesting for us because we've always given our kids a bedtime. Um, food is a big issue. Um, many of them eat anything that came in a wrapper they would eat, but anything that we cooked or um, that was just natural fruit, that was so much harder for them. And so that was a huge adjustment. And, and But it usually, I mean, kids are so resilient that usually within the first three to four weeks, they get on your routine and your schedule and, and then, and then you're good to go. Um, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's not to say there aren't challenges after that, but that, that's really the, like the practical hard, I would say. Um, sure. yeah, they, you know, it, it's hard on your schedule. You do have extra things to do. Um, and then it's hard when they go home. Um, the emotional hard, our, our kids really love hard, which we're proud of for them with mm -hmm. doing that. But um, it's hard on them when they go home and, you know, they get sad and they think about them at random times and, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it, those things are really hard too. Yeah. Brandon, what would you say? Well, I mean, I think that, you know, each, each child that has come through our home has been unique um, and has created their own unique set of challenges. Um, we've had, um, We've had just some sexual um, things to work through that we had a child that mm -hmm. had come to us. I guess she was maybe four years old and she had been touched somewhere along the line and, and mm. things were, she was kind of aware of things that a normal four-year-old wouldn't. And mm -hmm. that created some difficult dynamics. Um, there, there's just been, you know, for, for us, we've raised our kids since day one. And so, you know, when you get a three-year-old come through your home, who's never met you before and been raised under a very different set of circumstances, it is, it, it, there is this adjustment period. And, you know, I think that the last little boy that was with us, he was with us for 15 months and he stole all of our hearts and, and we just loved our time with him. But I would say two months into him being there, we about threw our hands up because we were just completely exhausted mm -hmm. because the transition period with him was longer and more difficult. He would wake up in the middle of the night screaming, not knowing where he was. It was just, there were a lot of, of difficulty with that. But at some point in the, in the process, he just really settled in. And it was, it, th that was easily our, our best um, placement so far. And so, and I think each one has probably gotten better. You know, when we had um, our first set of sisters, they came along, it was um, a couple of days before Christmas. Um, and I think this year actually will be our first Christmas and five Christmases that we haven't had a foster kid placement. So it's been interesting, you know, oh, just to have kids during mm -hmm. Christmas time. But, you know, we had those two sisters come along and they were two and three years old. And we just thought this is just going to be beautiful, you know, that we get to mm -hmm. help keep these two sisters together. And they wore us out. Um, and, you know, it was just a, a part of it. It was something that we, we, with each child, we kind of learned, you know, different things that we put in place. And so we learned out of that process that we only take one child at a time. And it is not, certainly not our goal to see families, you know, going in different directions. We, we'd love to see them in the same home. But for us, if we're going to be the foster care placement, um, we can only take one child at a time. And so, you know, we've, we've kind of continued to put some of those parameters in place yeah, because sure. we want to do this for a long time. And if we just mm -hmm. go out and get burnt out in the first, you know, couple of placements, then we're not going to do it long term. And so, you know, as each kind of process goes along, we take a step back and we figure out, you know, what did we do right? What did we do wrong? What needs to change mm -hmm. in the future? Um, and, you know, we have stuck by those guidelines um, and it's been positive for us.